Joining us now in an exclusive interview is Abercrombie & Fitch CEO, Fran Horowitz. Fran, welcome back. It's good to see you. It's good been a bumpy you, ride for consumer and it's been bumpy for consumer and retail earnings this quarter. But you're really a standout performer. Why is that happening? Well, first of all, excited to be here. Um, obviously, a nice Q1 that we delivered. Uh, great buzz going on on campus today. It's just a good point to bring your associates back. Loving to see all the smiles and all the energy that's happening here. Um, that momentum obviously is coming from all of them, but a strong Q1. We've got two strong global brands. Our Abercrombie business is just, it's on fire. I mean, we picked up 14% over last year's 13%. Um, we've got such terrific momentum in that business. And Hollister, we're making progress. You know, we were disappointed on the top line, but again, one number doesn't always tell the whole story. And we became profitable. We rose our AUR. Um, our inventories are under control. So lots, lots, of, lots of good things happening, and we're controlling what we can control. So are you not seeing the consumer slowdown that all your competitors and industry colleagues are talking about? I mean, honestly, at the moment, we're seeing no change to our consumer, and we're off to a good start for the second quarter. Because of the brand, you think, reinvention that, that you've done when it comes to yeah, pivoting? I, I mean, you've been in a constant reinvention mode since, you know, the days of Abercrombie, teen, re <laughs> teen mall retailer. Yes, absolutely. We've been on quite a journey here, an exciting one. Uh, the Abercrombie brand, you know, it's just, it's, a, it's not the brand it used to be. It's a lifestyle brand. It's not just a jeans and t-shirt brand any longer. The consumer is coming to us. They're loving our product. We've expanded into all sorts of new categories. She's buying dresses from us. I mean, our dress business is off the charts. We've actually become a destination for dresses, depending upon the, the, the occasion that they're looking for. They're also coming to us to go back to the office and where to work. We've got a terrific pants business in both men's and women's. You know, we turned the women's business a couple of years ago, and now we've turned the men's business. So both genders are, um, are trending as well as, um, you know, geographies as well. So it's, it's an exciting time for the brand. Hey, Fran, it's Carl. I, I'd love to get your take on uh, what freight rates are doing to margin and how and, and what kind of window... Uh, retailers can be locking in some of these these tailwinds. Yeah, we're excited about what we're seeing. It was obvious a big component to the margin that we were able that their gross profit that we were able to deliver this quarter. We've seen the rates come back significantly. Um, most exciting though is the fact that the flexibility in the supply chain is back, and that's what's important to us. We've reintroduced the word chase into our vocabulary. That's something that we are very good here at at Abercrombie. And the ability for both businesses, you know, our inventories are well under control. We're down 20 percent to last year. Um, and that's just that's helping, um, obviously, drive the business. Okay, as, as far as supply chain pressures go, can you essentially order and ship anywhere at will? Is there any danger in your view that there would be any kind of uh, echo from uh, the, the pressures that we saw last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, at this point, what we're seeing is that things are, are back to normal. There's always going to be bumps in the road. You know, Carl, any, anyone who's sat in the seat for the last three years and managed through what we've all managed through, we're ready to um, take on any of those challenges. But at the moment, things are pretty fluid.